Hello, it's Barna here and in this tutorial I wanted to give you a quick option on how to create a contact form or a subscription form with using Elementor's free and using a free plugin just to make sure that it works uh, correctly. Now, before I switch over to my screen share, you just need to understand that this tutorial is for beginners. So if you exactly know how to do this, then this video is not for you and I do not want to waste your time. Now, um, with the information, here's the thing. We are using Elementor Free. As you know, Elementor Free do not have the forms widget from Elementor Pro. But in case you want to create a contact us form or if you need a subscription form connected to MailChimp, for example, to do your email marketing uh, newsletters or whatsoever, then there is a very good tool that we can use and that is called Fluent Forms. Now Fluent Forms free version actually has everything that you may need. It has an element or integration. So I'm going to show this to you on the screen. We can add the created form and we can style everything with Elementor so it can look exactly as you may need it. So let's just go over to my screen share and I'm going to show you everything step by step how to use Elementor free, Fluent Forms free to create your contact us or subscription form. Now when we are in our, well in my case demo website, I've just installed Elementor and tried to import some templates, but that is for a different uh, video. Anyways, we have Elementor and Elementor Pro. I'm just going to deactivate Elementor Pro to make sure that everything is as it's supposed to be. Now, the first thing first is that with the plugins, you have Elementor free, but we need to add a contact form plugin and not just any of them, because most of the free plugins do not give you the option to add some kind of integration to MailChimp or other tools. So add the plugins, just click on add new and with the search, go with Fluent Forms. Now there will be different options and for example, the email marketing option or the SMTP plugin, in case if you don't know uh, what it is, you will be able to find the video on my YouTube channel or on this website. Sorry, in case if you're uh, on your on my website looking for this video. So what we need is this first one with the blue uh, icon. As you can see, there is over 100,000 active installs. So that is very positive to get started with. It is regularly updated and a five star review. So let's just install it to make sure that uh, we can get started using it. Uh, while that is happening, the reason why I'm saying this is if you're a beginner, you may try out different tools and things that you need to understand that the reviews and the amount of active installs is a good indicator if the tool is actually good or bad. Now, after the installation, let's just click on activate. And as you can see, we have the Fluent Forms free option. To get started, let's go to the Fluent Forms option on the left. And if you go to global settings, you will be able to see that there are different options just in case. Now, a few things that I like to do is the email summaries. I like to turn that off, disable IP logging. That is actually important one in case of GDPR and other uh, things that might be <laughs> in your interest to uh, comply with them. Enable honeypot security. That is important. This is a security option for anti-spam solutions. It's basically a hidden field in your contact form that bots will be able to read from the code and they think they need to fill that out. So while they are filling it out, the system will say like, hey, this is an invisible field for the user. So definitely you're a bot and you're not going through. Enabling no conflict mode that is useful just in case. And after that, let's click on the save settings at the top or the bottom right corner. Now with that being done, we can still go on the integrations before going to the forms. And you can see that we have Slack and MailChimp integration in the free option. So after uh, enabling the MailChimp integration, just in case if you're doing a subscription form, there's the little wheel icon that you can use, add your MailChimp API key, and the lists will be available for you in case of need. Okay, that's it. 
let's go to create our form and even for that we have some help so you can go on all forms and you can see that there is a subscription form and the contact form demo just to make sure that we can get started we can um, edit the contact form demo as soon as you uh, hover over with your mouse on the name you will have the different options so let's click on edit and the only reason why i'm just going to leave this here as it is is to give you uh, an overview of what kind of tools you you can use so on the right hand side you can see that there are all the different options that you can add and all this is in the free uh, the ones that are grayed out of course they are for the fluent forms pro version and even here with the gdpr agreement that is something that we will definitely add just to make sure that everything complies and on the top right hand corner we have the save form button now you have your settings and integrations options in the next tab at the top uh, menu and you can make sure that everything is working as you need it now with the email notifications uh, just a quick one you can add an admin notification but also what you can do is if you go with a second email notification you can click on the select a field and from the drop down you can select the email field so for example you can create a notification email saying that hey thank you for writing to us here are the details that you have sent um, have a nice day so you can create a notification for yourself that is giving you the details and you can create a notification for the person sending you the details as a confirmation just to make sure that that is there now if you go back to editor yes that is there everything is fine whatsoever now, now comes the magic so if we start a new page this is a demo website completely new so let's add new page and thank you gutenberg is not required let's call this demo edit with elementor and i'm not going to go into all the little editing details with elementor because that is a completely different video this is just for creating a contact us form let's just imagine for a second that this is a contact us page and even for that we can add a template i'm just going to use a contact us template uh, this is something from my Kotka template pack. Settings, page layout, going with the full width, just to make sure that it is working. Um, using the basic uh, WordPress theme 2022, that's why we have the header there. So that will be ugly. Let's go with Elementor Canvas, just to make sure that we can see what we definitely need. Now, the thing is, there used to be a form option here at the bottom on this page but you can see that we don't have that any longer because we are not using elementor pro and what we can do in this case of course you can change anything on this but let's just add a contact us form to the contact us section for that on the left hand side type in form and the fluent form option will be there as you can see the elementor pro form has the little lock and if you click on it of course you need to pay for it but in this case we are going to use the elementor uh, sorry the fluent forms uh, form let's just drag and drop it in there and on the left let's go with contact form demo in the drop down and uh, and everything is there already now the thing is with uh, the different color schemes and everything you may want to change the details for that another issue for that if you go to the style tab for the widget as you can see you can go through with all the little details or the different field and form options that you have there so even for this uh, sorry for the submit button let's go with uh, this is completely different compared to what i'm using on the page but you can see that in a couple of seconds it is uh, almost the same but if you have your global settings you can use the global color scheme for the highlighting colors you can edit everything typography colors padding spacing whatever you require so let's just publish this page quick view on it now if i scroll down there's our contact form and it can be used whichever way you want 
I hope this quick tutorial was helpful. As I said, this is mainly for beginners who do not know how to do this. So with Elementor free and full end forms free, you will be able to do not the same, but more than what you can do with Elementor's uh, form widget. So full end forms will be able to give you a lot more of power. I'm not going to say that integrations are better because integrations are better uh, on Elementor Pro, but then again, Fluent Forms free has some integrations as well, and you can use it right away without paying for anything else. If this tutorial was helpful, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel for further tips and tricks, and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, have an awesome day. See ya.